What is existentialism? Existentialism is a philosophy according to which human life can never be fully rationalized. Human life is more than just following your reason. Human existence is always irrational at the bottom because human beings are free to choose the course of their life. Now, in Dostoevsky's novels, freedom is one of the central themes that runs throughout his works, maybe the central theme. You know, what happens if humanity frees itself from conventions and traditions? What is left? Human free will. And what does this mean that we all start living according to what we want? What is the result and what is the depth of human freedom? That's what Dostoevsky is trying to analyze in his novels. And here we have the dialogue between Ivan and Alyosha. Ivan represents reason. Alyosha represents faith. And as you remember, in this famous dialogue, Ivan says to Alyosha, I'm not an atheist. I believe in God. So that is not the problem for me. My problem is much deeper. I believe in God. However, when I look at the world, I see that the world is full of evil and suffering. And therefore, it is not God I don't believe in. It's the world that God created because I cannot reconcile myself with the God who created such an evil world. This philosophical problem is known as the problem of theodicy. Theodicy is about how to justify the existence of all-powerful, all-knowing, and at the same time, all-good God in the face of constant evil and suffering. And here Dostoevsky gives us those horrible stories of the killing of children by the dogs. And um, those stories are real. They come from 19th century newspapers. So Dostoevsky does not invent here anything. Uh, but Ivan is facing a tremendous dilemma. He cannot forgive God for creating this world and for forgiving these murderers because Christianity is the religion of forgiveness. And uh, we're supposed to forgive everyone. But, you know, how can we forgive those people who would murder innocent children? And at the end of this dialogue, Ivan says that because he cannot reconcile himself with this world, he would rather go to hell than to heaven. He say, I would rather give back my ticket to heaven to God because I cannot be in heaven with God and with those murderers who will be forgiven, but I'd rather suffer in hell. Now, this is a human tragedy that Dostoevsky is depicting, but the cause of human tragedy in Dostoevsky's case, is very different than, let's say, the principle of Greek tragedy, ancient Greek tragedy. Let's remember Greek tragedy, classical Greek tragedy. Let's remember Oedipus the king. I assume everyone knows this famous play, Oedipus the king. When Oedipus wants to do something good for his city, his city is affected by the plague and he wants to do something good and he initiates a series of events that lead to his demise. One of the main ideas of ancient Greek tragedy is that we are not in control of our destiny because we are not in control of our future. And that's what happens with Oedipus the king and that is the origin of his tragedy. He does not know what will come as a result of his actions and he ruins himself by initiating something that is good. And the reason for that is that for ancient Greeks, the world in which we live is by definition unknown and uncontrollable. And we are thrown into this world which is completely unknown and we have to live in this world according to the wills of the God, gods. Now, when Christianity replaces this worldview 
it provides to people a totally different understanding of the world. For Christians, those who believe in Christianity, you are thrown into the world that was created by God, and therefore you are destined for salvation. So no matter how hard you suffer, how much you suffer, no matter what is happening with you, as a result, you go to heaven. So all this tragedy that happens in this world is not so tragic any longer. And that's why Christianity does not develop tragedy per se until the Renaissance period. There is no tragedy in Christian literature. Even Dante writes divine comedy. But tragedy reappears in Christianity during the Renaissance. And you may remember the play by Christopher Marlowe, Dr. Faustus. When Faustus appears as a truly tragic character in Christian literature. But tragedy in Christianity is very different from ancient Greek tragedy. Because who is Faustus? Faustus is a scientist who signs a contract with the devil. The devil gives him some perks, the use of magic and some other powers. But in the end, he is going to hell. So that may look like a bad deal. But the idea behind the deal is the origin and the source of true Christian tragedy. True Christian tragedy comes not from the external forces. It comes from freedom of will, from our personal will. We are free to choose hell over heaven. And that is what's so tragic in human life, according to Christianity. So Ivan Karamazov is just one of the latest manifestations of a tragic human character that chooses hell over heaven, but not for the reasons Faustus has chosen them. Not for power, not for magic, but because he is thirsty for justice, because he does not think that this world is just, he would rather prefer hell over heaven. By the way, all human rights the idea of all human rights finds its ultimate foundation in this God-given right to go to hell.